Councilman Ardeshes Pasakian, Glenmill City Manager, Mr. Ruby Kolanian, Prominent Men Western USA Regional Board, Mrs. Rubina Manucheri and Mrs. Talim Jagarian, along with Glendon Ararat Board members, CASP's Executive Board member, Mrs. Medea Kolognomas, Armenia Small Foundation Honorary Board members, Mrs. Janet Mirzayan and Armin uh, Janian, media representatives, friends and supporters. On behalf of Armenia School Foundation's board members, I would like to welcome you this evening. 2023 marks a huge milestone for our organization as we celebrate our 20th anniversary. Our mission has always been to enhance and improve the educational environment of our future generations by providing school furniture to remote schools in Armenia. Since its inception in 2003, ASF has completed 475 school projects. Our journey has been challenging, yet we are proud of all that we have accomplished. We express our gratitude to you for your continued support, encouragement, and generosity. Tonight, we celebrate our anniversary with the help of our talented artists who have donated their time, effort, and beautiful artwork to make this art show a unique and memorable event. This would not have been possible without the support of the following group of friends who deserve to be acknowledged. First and foremost, Greg and Carolyn Tufankian. Where are you, Greg? Caroline. Who have generously provided their beautiful Tufankian art gallery. Our talented featured artist, Andrew Agajanian, Ruben Amirian, Vahe Berberian, Armine Homanestian, Sosi Mazunian, Ara Oshagan, Vacha, Harry Borkarian, and Rostom Bostanian. Tonight, we have the presence of Armine Homanestian, Sosi, Ara Oshagan, Vacha, uh, and um, our representative for the younger generation, Andrew Agajanian. Yeah. And Mr. Borkarian is uh, joining us from Prague. <laughs> they will be donating a pro portion of the proceeds to ASF, and we kindly thank all of them. Our sincere thanks to the Boskanian and Zarifan. Oh my God, my Berberian, you're here. It's an honor. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. coming. Foundation uh, annual, I think it's a donor appreciation event. Anyway, Anthony Portantino is there, 
my colleagues, Paula Devine, Artie Kasaki, and Ellen Asatra were all there. So I want to um, apologize on their behalf for not being here because I rushed over, but I guess they're... Oh, Paula came and had to leave. Okay. We all, we tried. We tried to, uh, you know, to, to recognize all the important activities that are going on in our city. But anyway, let me say, um, you know, thank you to the Armenian School Foundation for 20 years, I believe, is that right? 20 years of dedicated service to education in Armenia and Artsakh. I have been involved in nonprofit work, and I know how challenging it is to sustain the momentum of the early days when you first get going. Uh, board members get tired uh, and move on, and, and, and it's hard to keep it up, but you have sustained these efforts and expanded these efforts over two decades. And that is a major achievement that you should be proud of. And we are proud of you in the city of Glendale. And you've sustained this work at a time of great difficulty in Armenia and Artsakh, through revolution, through war, through ongoing efforts at cultural and physical annihilation. And I don't need to tell you this, uh, but that makes your achievement even more impressive. Many organizations raise money for needy causes. They're all important, we love them all, but most tend to involve meeting everyday needs of people in distress. We describe that as giving fish, giving somebody a fish. But you do something special by focusing on education, you're teaching people, or maybe helping others teach people how to fish. Education is the bedrock. An educated population is a population that can advocate for itself, defend itself, be productive on the local and global stage. An educated population knows how to ask the right questions, can separate truth from fiction, and by doing so is able to be the master of its own destiny. It can avoid being led astray by charlatans seeking personal advantage. This is more important now than ever in the age of social media. Uh, social media and disinformation, I should say. Almost nothing we can do is more impactful than educating our youth, and I think you all know that, that's why you're here, uh, and that's why the work you do to enable education in Armenian Artsakh is so, so meaningful and will have such a lasting impact. So again, on behalf of the city of Glendale, we just want to share how proud we are the Armenian School Foundation. I hope you continue for another 20 years. I would like to invite Armenia School Foundation's president, Mrs. Mone de Gregorian, to share her thoughts with you. Thank you. Uh, 